feeling better? Breakfast? Dude, that was really good. I had breakfast. So where are we going now? What's up? Whoa, look at these. Look at these rugs, man. Nice. We got some like rugs up in here. We are going to Dubai's newest and largest supercar showroom. Supercar shopping. Oh, yes. Supercar shopping in Dubai. Gumball's not gonna start. Gumball doesn't start till Saturday. Uh, Saturday's registration day. We hit the road on Sunday, but all the cars are going on the grid on Saturday at Burj Park. That's cool. It's gonna be awesome. In the meantime, we're getting basically, Mr. JWW is giving us the grand tour of all the little things we know you guys will be interested in. So we're gonna go see some like shopping malls and also like obviously shoot supercar shopping. Dave and I have been talking about buying a car over in Europe or maybe even here. Now, the cool thing that we have a benefit that unfortunately the Americans don't have is they have a 25 year rule to import a car from a, a, another country. We have a 15 year rule. So we can get a car in like the mid 2000s or 2007 older. 2007 or older. Right. And that even falls into my manual uh, Murcielago LP640 is a 2007. So with any luck, if I could find another one to replace it, maybe there's one here. Like they have everything here, right James? They have everything here. Sorry, I just got right here. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, right here. Hey, how's it going? As what? a CFO of this trip, I've realized that cars are cheaper here because it's really hard to export once they come to pretty much stuck here. And when a new car comes out, everybody here wants what's new and shiny, and the old ones really drop in value. So we could find a really good deal on the car here as well. Ray That's Shettling. your finance. <laughs> right, right, right. Ray <laughs> Largest Lamborghini dealership right there. Wow. That's crazy. So we just saw that G63, uh, and it was not a local plate. It was a Saudi plate. However, it had the number one on it. James, can you just kind of give a quick explanation as to what's the significance of the number plates here and how they all work? Generally, like the less the less numbers and writing you have on the plate, the more baller you are. That's crazy. Can you imagine we buy number plates back at home and we could just get like whatever number you wanted? We can, and it won't be hard. Just get one. I'm thinking one's probably taken. Okay, we'll get two. <laughs> we'll get two. The number one in Dubai sold for $9.5 million. Jeez. And that was in 2008. Get out here today. It's way more reasonable. It is hot. Yeah, this is pupil of fate. Don't ask me about the name. Pupil of fate. Pupil of fate. It's the biggest dealership, the newest dealership in Dubai, and it's just off Sheikh Zayed Road, which is the main road that runs through the center of Dubai. I already saw a Chiron, two speed tails, an SLR right in that window. We're gonna take you guys in, we're gonna have a look around. We're gonna do some shopping. You never know what your boys might pick up here in Dubai for a brand new car. Oh, we right. also we also still need to uh, reveal what are we driving on Gumball. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, you Mine's too. I haven't even landed yet. I'm yeah. like getting nervous now. This car's <laughs> not even here. Let's go in. Come on. All right. So like we're in here. It's crazy. Name that car it, behind you. That is a Ferrari GT350. Oh, it's pretty cool. No, 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 Did I get that right? I have no idea. They're talking about it. I don't oh, know. It's <laughs> way more than I want to know about Bruce Lee in the past, maybe. They asked us where we were from. We said British Columbia, Canada. And they said, oh, it's a hop, skip, and a jump from Seattle. And I was like, I don't go to Seattle. It rains too much here. He goes, Bruce Lee's buried there. I was like, oh, my bad. Well, yep. thank you for having us. <laughs> thank you for welcome. welcome. This is very cool. Good to meet everybody. Good to meet you again. Thank you. What an impressive showroom. You're going to give us a little tour of what you guys have in here. Sure. Yeah. And apparently, we've already talked about how James has already driven one of these. So that's cool. It's a while back. So it's a while back. What yeah. interesting story? On this car, interesting story, yes. Yeah. So okay. the car was delivered new to the dealership in Rome in 1963. And then a month later, a Pakistani businessman called Mr. Zehri came, purchased the car, shipped it to Karachi where it lived for 50 years. You go around, if you speak to relatively affluent people of Karachi today, and you tell them about the Zehri Ferrari, they all know about it. There are multiple times better people in the show and say, when we were kids, we used to look over the wall and, and wait, they'd hear it start and everything. And it's been my favorite Luso for years. What's the value of this? What is the value of this? 12.5 million dirhams. 80. 12.5 million dirhams. 12.5. Wow. It's a really unique color. That's very cool. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. Oh, it's just mint.
Monza SB2. I'm just admiring it, trying not to get close to anything. He opens the door and says, the key's in it, you can start it. I'm not gonna say no to starting one of the best sounding engines on the planet, a V12 Ferrari engine. One foot in, and you sit on the door sill. And I know people have held this column and you gotta kind of like slide in. It's not there we go. Still somewhat flexible for 43. You guys ready for this? I'm not gonna lie, these guys know how to sell a car. Dave, this one's coming out of your salary. It's the best thing ever. Nothing beats a V12, especially a Ferrari V12. No. <laughs> is this for an air, an air curtain right here? I believe so. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It is, yeah. Like they have a Costco. I'm not sure they have Costco's here in Dubai, but we have them back in North America. We'll go and buy a big ball of mayonnaise. Beautiful coffee bar here. Beautiful. Oh, rocket fuel. Beautiful. Rocket fuel, my friend. <laughs> Let's go. You know me, guys. More coffee. Okay, so we're now in what they designate as the vault. The challenge is, there's a car to my right, two cars to my right, and a car to my left that are private. We're not gonna show them. So I kind of have to stand in this spot. There's a car right here I wanna show you with a very cool livery, so I have to move. So I have to sit on the floor because the other car is behind this car. So this is cool, this is a black series with the Project One livery on it. Check it out. Oh wow, that's sick. Hold right? On. Hold on. And it's painted. This is painted. This is not like a vinyl livery. Oh, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. We can't afford decals. anything David, on here. David, those, are, those are decals. Those are not decals. No, those are decals. Those are decals. Those are not decals. Watch, I'll, I'll pick one off to prove it to you, ready? <laughs> <laughs> can't take them anywhere, can we guys? So. This is cool because it, it fade it has like this fade effect from darker to lighter and the actual, I don't know, you call them stars, go from darker to lighter based on the background of the paint. And then you have the turquoise and I really like this ring around the wheels. I want lights like this that go from like this waterfall effect that go at the HQ, let's do it. Let's do it. It's probably cheap. Every, everything's cheap here in Dubai. Fun fact, the engine that's in this car is the engine that's going to be in the Aston Martin Valhalla. Highly tunable. Should we get one? Comment below. Highly flammable. Hi, what? Flammable? Flammable? That's like something I would say. It's like, that's like saying, hey guys, let's take the plane down. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. Or you're not supposed to say either on a plane. Hey, the food on here is the bomb. <laughs> we found a Stradale. Stradman, you still gotta get one of these, bro. This property is so huge, I can't even put it into words. This used to actually be, by the way, a Toyota facility. Colossal. It's colossal. He said just that top floor was 55,000 square feet. So then that's there's a basement there. that's equivalent, and then this is and gonna this be place. the service center. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Thank you for letting me uh, rev this beautiful beast. And now we are off to the Bugatti event. Hey. This is the ride. Uh, wow, well this is This is a ride. This is nice. Oh now we're speaking my language. I have a pillow. This is so I'm cool. Look at the lights and everything. Hey! You got a bougie room. We got one door. You have two doors. Bro, how you doing? Yeah. All right. Holy are you kidding me? So, can we just acknowledge something? We were wondering why you had two room numbers. Then you get in here and you realize there's actually two rooms, but then they obviously join? Or do you have to go through here to get in there? Here, yeah. So this is part of your room and then that's part of your room? Yeah. Can I go in here? Somebody, of course. Somebody shower in there, but go for it. Really? Go for it. 
Who's showering in there? You're gonna meet everybody, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. it's not Steve is in there. Okay, we'll go in the other room for now. Oh, Jack that. Look at this. This place is insane. Holy crap. My God, it just keeps going on. And well, he's made, you, made yourself at home already. They don't mess around. Look at this view. Holy. Hey, cause it's rich. Why don't we get that? Why, why, why don't we get this room? Talk to your wife, she booked a room. Dubai Mall, we have to go there at some point. It's the Look. world's biggest mall, right? Is that what it is? Is, it, is the Dubai Mall the world's largest? Is that the world's largest mall? That's what I'm told. Yeah. That's what you're told? I'm told that too. You come here a lot. We were all told that by James, so if it's not true, it's on James. The biggest, in my opinion, best supercar club in Dubai is called SCM, which stands for Supercars Majelis. So the club has effectively just opened their own coffee shop. So the Supercar Club has their own coffee shop. Yeah. It's a hangout. It's a hangout space. It's their version of our Fast and Furious house. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. And you won't believe what they have in the coffee house. Not a car I want to see, personally. <laughs> just sold Excuse me. Look what they've got sitting in here. They have a Carrera GT sitting in here. Oh, rubbing it in. This has the two-tone interior. Beautiful, beautiful, insane car. Manual, obviously. We've left for... I don't know, 15 minutes to go to the supercar coffee shop and we come outside and he's got three guys cleaning his Range Rover just in the parking spot. So we're going into a very private Bugatti event. The guy in the McLaren got out left his car in gear. The car almost self-drove itself into the back of the F8 and we're here. So what's this all for? The regional um, launch of the Bugatti Mistral. So the Roadster? The Roadster, yeah. This is so like $10 million. $10 million. You want so some, there's you want some to... interesting demographic here. Are we splitting it or what? <laughs> yeah, why not? Ladies and gentlemen, this car celebrates a rich history of uh, Bugatti Roadsters. It is the first of its kind and the last of its kind. Are we buying this Bugatti guys or what? Yep. All right, <laughs> come on. I'll make you a deal. We all go in on it. We treat it like a timeshare or child support. <laughs> Everybody gets every other weekend. Make your payments on time or it gets repossessed. All right, or we take you to car protective services. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's going to jail for that one. This thing is gorgeous, gorgeous. The uh, daytime running light design was very distinct. It has a hole where the arrow actually goes through the headlight. Probably a favorite feature is actually the taillights. Like the taillights are the insane. In yeah. So the concept behind the X uh, taillight on the Mistral was really designed uh, after the Bull Eye, the race car. They wanted to incorporate that because it was so well received on the race car and the race car is never going to end up on the street so they wanted at least one street car to have this x configuration i'm excited for gumball how about you dude let's get it going the thing about gumball is that gumball doesn't mess around no like they bring the, the party to the people they bring the heat we're starting to learn that as cool and crazy as Dubai is in a lot of ways, it's actually quite calm. It's very chill. We try not to go to these classy events like Bugatti and these other places we've been, being typical DD, yelling and screaming at the camera. Yeah, we weren't yelling and screaming. Because we're trying to be respectful. So we're the only ones in t-shirts. <laughs> what a TDF? It is. This is one of my favorite cars ever. Mine too. I had a friend that had one once, but he's an idiot and he sold it. Thanks. Right Cheers. There. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Hold on. This guy's got a, a Devo? Okay, now I'm impressed.
guy drives it. Just look at the tire stickers. First of all, so he's good. got tire stickers on his Devo. Yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, they're all marked up. So being he's, used. he's been driving this car. What is going on? What is going on? It's on the cake. What have we got going on here? This is DVD and Mr. JW. Yeah, branded rally cake. The problem is the wheels are falling off on the ground. It's just wow. All right, so we're all done for the night. You guys, crazy day. We're just, again, getting started. Gumball hasn't even started. We still got to tell you what car we're getting, but we were just checking out some friends who are at the SLS here. They have a crazy view and rooftop bar. Wow. And and secret bar. Secret bar, and it was amazing. Um, huge thanks to everybody, especially this guy, Mr. JWW, giving us the full tour of Dubai. And it's we're just. About to heat up, man. It's about to heat up. It's about to go absolutely Ooh. off, so don't go anywhere. At dinner, my car landed while we were eating. It landed. It landed. So Congratulations. It's, so it's here. So now we got to get out of customs. We got to go get his car out of customs, and we're going to leave you guys with the Bugatti Devo just casually leaving. Now, this guy drives, drives his car. Like, just look at the tires and the tire stickers. A well-used, proper, daily-driven exotics, Bugatti Devo. Crazy. And this is one of two. There's another one that's doing the entire gumball rally. So that's it. We're signing off. Smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. And that's all she wrote. Peace. Well, we thought the video was over, and we just got back to our hotel, and there's another Bugatti Chiron sitting here all decaled up for gumball. So obviously this is on the rally as well. There seems to be more Bugattis here than anywhere else, in the world. Than anywhere else I've ever seen. It's absolutely insane. People are just huge, huge Bugatti fanatics here. Burgundy. Look at this. <laughs> Ron Burgundy. Leather bound books and my office is made of rich mahogany. <laughs> rich mahogany. That's I don't know beautiful. I say this, but um, Kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a big deal.